Hi, I'm Faith, and you're watching Low D D I Y. I have three awesome bathroom DIYs for you guys today. First up will be this gorgeous enamel look wall art piece, followed by an adorable tray that fits perfectly on the back of a toilet, and last but not least, this amazing toilet paper holder. For the wall art piece, I'm going to use this printout, which I'll link down below for you guys. It's a water basin, a wash basin with pitcher, and then this Dollar Tree pie pan that I had bought ages ago, so I had to clean it up, sand off the, some rust and stuff. But you can get a brand new one and not have that problem. <laughs> And then I made sure to measure my picture on the bottom of my pie pan so I could get a nice embossment. Once I had it centered, I just sort of rubbed it, the shape onto the paper. And then I'm going to carefully cut it out just inside that embossment. Now mine didn't end up matching up perfectly. It didn't go to the edges quite as well as I wanted. But that's totally fine because we're going to put something to hide that anyway. So it's not a big deal. Now that that's done, we're going to paint our pie, pan, our pie pan. And the first thing I'm doing is taking this linen white chalk paint and just painting the whole thing. Except for the middle of the inside and the bottom because I'm going to be putting adhesives there. And I don't want the paint to interfere with that at all. And they'll be hidden so it won't matter that you didn't paint them. And this took two full coats to completely cover it. While that's all drying and finishing up, I took this image and I printed mine on cardstock so that I could do like a watercolor look painting with it. And you could just leave this alone if you wanted, but I took some yellows and made it sort of reminiscent of my shower curtain and just mixed a lot of water into a little bit of paint to sort of make a watercolor look painting. I used medium yellow and yellow ochre by Folk Art and just, like I said mix a lot of water in it <laughs> and I think it turned out really pretty I didn't do it perfectly but hey since when is anything perfect <laughs> and once that's all done I went ahead and took a sharpie which I almost wish I hadn't have done this because when I was using the Mod Podge it smeared but I just went around the edges, the outline of it. And once your pie pan is all dry, after two coats, I took some licorice, which is just the black color from Folk Art, and a makeup applicator sponge, and I went a little crazy. This is my first time doing anything with a ceramic look, and I think I may have overdone it a little. <laughs> but now it looks like a super old ceramic pie pan, which is, I guess that's okay. And excuse my voice, I have a cold. <laughs> anyway, once that's all dry, um, we're just going to Mod Podge this image on. And I poured a bit too much Mod Podge in there. And that's okay because I'm going to Mod Podge the entire thing because it's going in a bathroom and it needs that extra layer of protection. So, it's okay. Once you have your Mod Podge on, we're just going to put in our, our image. <laughs> smooth it out. I didn't have too much trouble with wrinkles or bubbling because I guess because this cardstock is thicker. I forgot to get some saran wrap, but it's okay. I just smoothed it out after adding the top layer of Mod Podge. I smoothed it out with my fingers. Kind of messy, but it works. <laughs> and then just cleaned that up with a little bit more Mod Podge on top of it so you couldn't see all my fingerprints. And I did Mod Podge the rest of the pan as well the back and everything once that was all dry and it took forever I used this wire from the picture hanging kit from the Dollar Tree and it's like two inches of the wire twisted the ends together and just glued that on the back and just make sure that's centered on there and flood it with plenty of hot glue and yes I was lucky enough to finally find one of those silicone makeup applicators so happy about that <laughs> and then for to hide the where the paper and the pan don't quite meet up in the center I'm just gonna take measure out three strands of that Dollar Tree jute 
twine and glue that down framing the picture and I just sort of twisted it and glued it as I went super simple just make sure you're, you're, you glue those three strands together before you even start and it'll stay together trim off the ends and that is it I think this turned out so beautiful and it looks so great with all my other bathroom decor that you can see in another video I'll link it super happy with that <laughs> for the tray I use this Dollar Tree serving tray and these are their thicker heavier ones I'm not sure what other colors they come in I do know they have silver <laughs> but I didn't care because I was painting it I used the rust-oleum linen white chalk paint and this took like three coats to fully cover this um, once again I'm not painting the inside or the bottom of the tray because I don't want the paint to interfere with my adhesives so just keep it to the edges once that's fully painted and fully dry you can move on to the rest of this so like I said three coats most likely unless you have a better paint than me <laughs> But once I had all three coats on and it was fully dry, which took a while, I took this peel and stick wall tile from the Dollar Tree. And I love this one. It's so pretty. Um, I have a lot of silver fixture type things in my bathroom. But this ends up not really matching with the rest of my decor. Good thing is we're getting ready to move soon. And I'll have a half bath. So I'm thinking of doing sort of a coastal, modern coastal looking decor in there so this will work pretty well in there after I got my center one down I was just having so much trouble with measuring today too I I don't know I thought I measured this right and I cut it out and it just it wasn't working <laughs> see way too short I was so frustrated and I didn't have enough tile to to fix that so I had to come up with a new idea um, and I did, like I said, measuring was not my strong suit today, so I had to take a, an X-Acto knife and trim that up a bit, which messed up some of the paint, so I had to touch that up. But I thought, you know, why not add like some wood accents to this since the, the legs I'm going to add to it are going to be wood too. So I just took some craft sticks and I played around with the idea of the big ones and, or the regular size ones and the skinny ones, but that wasn't covering enough. <laughs> because I had that not centered. <laughs> so I just took three of the regular Dollar Tree craft sticks, cut them all down to size, and hot glued them in. And it worked pretty good. And I don't know, definitely not working for my current bathroom decoration, but like I said, I'm moving, I'll have a half bath, this'll work. So for the legs of these, I took some tumbling tower blocks and when you do them this L shape, one end is too long. So I knew I had to trim that down. So I'm just going to mark that off where I need to cut it on four of them and cut them up. I am going to save these little bits though for my toilet paper holder project coming up next. But once I have them cut down, we can, I just went ahead and hot glued them. I didn't worry about the wood glue or nothing. You're not going to see them as well, so using hot glue is just fine. And I just use my carpenter square to keep everything in a nice 90 degree angle. Once you have all four of those attached, or I guess all eight of those paired up, um, I did reinforce with a little bit more hot glue, but then we're just going to hot glue them right to the bottom of our tray. And once again, I did kind of put these on a little wonky. Luckily, you can't tell from the front, so it's all right. But I also added some of the wood cubes from the Dollar Tree on there as well to give it a little bit more height. And I just thought it looked nice. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. But when I lifted it up, it looked a little like a sudden change. There wasn't enough, like, a smooth transition. See? So I took four more tumbling tower blocks and laid them flat right up against those other blocks and glued those on. And I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, they're not turned on their sides. They're laid against flat. You see? I guess. <laughs> I decided to do sort of a whitewash look to them because 
it's just too sudden of a change from the stark white to the wood so I just took my chalk paint my linen white chalk paint and I painted it on and immediately took my sponge and sort of smeared it around wiped some of it off so it's like doing a whitewash without the mess of using water if that makes sense <laughs> Do I ever make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I really liked how it turned out. And I did put a little extra paint in those cracks to just sort of fill them in a bit. And I really like how this turned out. Fits perfectly on the back of my toilet. And it holds a decent amount of stuff. It can hold more useful stuff than what I've got in there. It's really neat. I like this a lot. <laughs> Would you do me a favor and tap the like button? It helps my channel out so, so much, and I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested, check the description box for links to my Instagram and my Facebook group. Question of the video is, what decor style do you use in your bathroom? Last but not least is our toilet paper holder. And for this, I got uh, one of the MDF board box signs from the Dollar Tree. Any will do. I think this one measured like seven by seven inches or so. And then you're going to need four of these giant craft sticks from Walmart. Yeah, I know I said this is Dollar Tree DIYs, but it's mostly, okay? I got like two things from Walmart. <laughs> you could definitely use Dollar Tree uh, sticks if you want. You'll just have to use more of them and cut more. That's it. But I'm just going to cut these down to size so that they fit the edges. Now two are cut where are measured where they match up exactly to the sides and then the and then I take uh, you'll see here in a second I take the other two and I measure them where they overhang those side ones clamp them on with some little Dollar Tree clips which these things are awesome guys definitely get some and then I'm gonna take my other sticks and measure it up against that that way it's overhanging the other craft sticks and then I just cut those down to size, sand them a bit to get rid of the splintery bits, and they're ready to go. Now for the, the rod in the middle, I got this, um, I think it's at a half inch dowel rod, and they're like three feet long, or like two and a half feet long, something like that. Uh, you're not going to use the whole thing, you're going to use two feet of it. I'm going to find my center on my sign. And then basically line up my dowel there and draw a circle around where I need to bore the hole. And all I have is this heart rotary tool. So I had to do the boring the hole with that. It was, it just took a little longer than if I had like a spade bit on a drill. But before I did that, I hot glued my craft sticks on the side here. And you'll see here in a second. Yeah, see this one will overhang that one and it just sort of hides that little gap that you would have you know you could cut them exact but they're not gonna match up as well so definitely do the overhang and I do slightly overhang it from front to back too so that it hides the uh, the seam of the little wood cubes I'm gonna use later I don't know <laughs> I'm never making sense anyway once you have that on there and you've reinforced it a bit, we're going to go ahead and cut our rod and bore the hole. So I've got two feet of this dowel rod and then I'll hold you about four or about five or six rolls of toilet paper. And then those are those little tumbling tower bits we had left over from the last project. And I just need them to add some height to my wood cubes that I'm putting in. So I just pop one in each corner. And then on top of those, I'm going to hot glue in two of the wood cubes. So I pair up the wood cubes, glue them together, and then I'm going to glue them on top of the bits of tumbling tower block pieces. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. I know. I don't make any sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've been sick and my brain just like doesn't want to work. It just doesn't. I put a little glue on the edges too so that it was more adhered to the side of the little box too. But you'll see how like the wood when I overhanged it on the sides it hides the seam of the wood blocks so it's like it's just one continuous piece. And then we're going to take another one of those wall tiles and just cut it down to size. And I used some 
Mod Podge for this because the, um, the green parts of the sign are textured because they're like glow in the dark. And I just, I knew that adhesive, even though it's good, might not stick to that for very long. So I went to be extra careful and put some Mod Podge in there. Then I just stick in the tile, smooth it down, which is super easy because this is pretty thick. So you don't really have to worry about bubbles or anything like that. And then I took a craft knife and cut out the hole on the back. And we're going to stick our rod right in there. Now I wanted this to go all the way down to where it will rest on the floor. That way it has that extra stability. Um, and then we're going to hot glue. I hot glued in a bit just to hold it in place where I wanted it to go. Just really quickly put some hot glue in there and hold it exactly where I need it. And it takes a minute, but once it's dry, you can add more hot glue to reinforce, which I did, obviously. <laughs> Lots of hot glue. And then I just held it, you know, used my carpenter square to make sure it was pretty close to 90 degree angle. This is totally optional, but I did take this small wood round and cut a hole into it. Well, twisted a hole into it using these shears. It had to be big enough to fit on that big dowel rod, but once I had that hole in there, I just slid it onto the dowel and hot glued it to the base. And I felt like that might just help it stay in place a little better and it just looks a little nicer. And then I'm doing the same thing I did on the tray. I'm just doing that sort of almost like a whitewash in a way with my sponge and my paintbrush in places where I can't really use my sponge. And I did that to all the wood bits on here. So the sides, the feet, and the entire dowel rod so if it was wood it got a whitewash and to protect that from getting paint on it I just I held a paper towel so I couldn't get paint on there <laughs> you don't have to tape it and then for the topper of this I used some air dry clay and I just rolled up a little ball of it you can get this stuff at Walmart for like $5.50 for a tub I want it to be big enough to stand out from my dowel rod but small enough that it could fit in a toilet paper tube so I did an imprint of the end of my dowel rod onto my ball and then I cut it out and this is one of those Dollar Tree wood carving tools but it worked perfectly for this and then I just make sure my ball is the shape I want it to be and uh, you gotta um, you'll have like some cracks and stuff the best way to fix that is just to take some water on your fingers and use a good bit of it and just smooth it out and it'll cover almost all those cracks like after mine dried which took forever it took like two days the cracks were gone and I just gave it a coat of this elephant gray to work as a nice base coat for the metallic silver of course from craft smart uh, and I gave it one coat of that as well to make it nice and silver and once it was dry, I just attached it on the end of my rod using some hot glue. And if you wanted to make yours bigger, you could just not use the glue and it could be removable. And this thing is awesome. Like, I could definitely, you wouldn't be able to see the topper, but I could hold six rolls on here if I wanted to. And these are the giant rolls, so it's pretty useful. It's not very heavy and it looks nice. It doesn't take up nearly as much space as my old uh, basket did. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. As always, have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.